new project at a landmark location is just months away from opening up here in Chicago. The field studios at the corner of Diversity and Pulaski will include nine sound stages along with lofts, retail and production offices. The $250 million project received $5 million in city grants. So what will it all mean for that northwest side neighborhood? Excuse me, I'm losing my voice here. Zane Koida and Sean Papazian with Nick Point Ventures are joining us with more on what we can expect. So my first question to you gentlemen is, New York, LA have always been the hubs for entertainment production. How much attention is that industry paying to Chicago right now? Well, you know, um, interestingly enough, we think what we're doing here in Chicago is gonna bring more awareness and more demand. Um, we're very excited for what that infrastructure can bring in terms of having the type of facility that can accommodate any type of production, big or small, and we're very excited that we're the first studio campus uh, with purpose-built sound stages in the Midwest and, and excited to be a part of that. North Star, which, you know, the East and the West and uh, Atlanta, Georgia cover the other star. So we're excited to be considered the North Star a production hub, hopefully one day in the near future. All right. So do you have projects already that are looking to get off the ground that we know about that perhaps you can talk about that the studio will help with? Um, we're, we're in conversations right now with several studio streamers. Um, we just opened up a couple weeks ago, so we're a little bit uh, premature with discovering who those people are on the air. But soon enough, you'll read about it and hear about it. But we are excited that we have definitely uh, some good, strong demand here in the next coming weeks. Yeah, and I know that, you know, when big projects like this get off the ground, people talk about jobs and obviously production jobs are one sector of this. But how else will you be able to help that neighborhood, that entire community there at Diversity and Pulaski? So when we bought this building uh, several years ago, we were excited about the existing architecture on site, the wonderful neighborhood that it was in but also the rich history of the project that always had a manufacturing background to it, whether it was um, the Olson Rug Company or Marshall Fields. Uh, this building was always a cornerstone of the neighborhood, a big employer uh, for the people in the, in the area. And we're, we feel like we're bringing uh, modern manufacturing back to the building in the form of film and television production. These are uh, things that are made locally and distributed globally for consumption by people all over the world. So we're excited for Chicago to be able to share its stories and rich culture with everyone, uh, you know, through streaming or, or broadcast and platforms. We're looking at some of the pictures right now. Walk me through what other things people will see, because we know sound stages. It will have some lofts, some retail. Walk me through what you're envisioning. So the, most of the vision is already on site. In fact, we've been working on this project for over six years now. On site already is a full service grocery store, Cermac, Cermac Produce. We've got 400,000 feet of office space, a lot of which is already occupied. Uh, we've got retail offerings and apartments as well that are already built and delivered. So what you have today is a true mixed use campus. Uh, the whole project spans 23 acres. Um, and the sound stages are the latest thing to deliver. We've completely finished the nine sound stages and we're ready for business, as Sean mentioned. Okay, and so business officially, officially, officially opens. When is that, uh, spring or summer? We're, we're open now. Okay. Um, and uh, we're excited about, you know, um, what's forthcoming. Obviously, the unions, uh, the Writers Guild and, and, and SAG had a bit of a strike there that kind of delayed a lot of the starts for a lot of these productions uh, this year. But it's going to come back, and, and a lot of the conversations we're having, it's just a matter of uh, when, not if. And uh, excited about the sound stages we built that are ready to be occupied. They're um, two of the largest sound stages, uh, sets of sound stages in the Midwest, 36,000 square feet. So we can occupy uh, the biggest productions that are coming to Chicago. And again, like Zane said, we're, we're really polishing up the legacy of Chicago. It's, you know, from 1913 forward, it's been a film city and a, and a community and, right. and it's strong, the best unions that I've had the pleasure of working alongside. And we're very excited about really bringing the unions to the forefront of this and really right. growing that crew base and excited about what's next. Okay, thank you so much, Zane Koida and Sean Papazian for talking to us about this new project. We appreciate it. We appreciate thank you. you.